ഹായ് ഓൾ വെൽക്കം ടു ആർത്തം അക്കാഡമി ആസ്പയറിംഗ് ലീഡേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ഇന്നോവേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ടെക്നോളജി സോ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വിൽ ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് കൺസ്ട്രെയിൻ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ഓൾറെഡി വി ഹാവ് അനദർ വീഡിയോ വിച്ച് ടോക്സ് അബൌട്ട് ഡെഫിനേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ കൺസ്ട്രെയിൻ ഇക്വേഷൻ ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ എക്സ്പ്ലനേഷൻ ഓഫ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ ടൈപ്പ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സിഇ ഇൻറ്റർഫേസ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് പാർട്ട് ടു ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ ദിസ് കൺസ്ട്രെയിൻ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് we are going to discuss other two types which are very very important and most commonly applicable that is rbe3 and ce rigid let us focus on some of the aspects of it just to summarize the previous video here are some of the things why do we use constraint equations to simulate physics into mathematical problem and also to simplify the models to uh, reduce the simulation time at a particular location simulating the physics of the problem into mathematics it often becomes unavoidable to associate a set of nodes with a particular behavior so for this the cs plays a vital role the assumptions of the basic theory for search condition does not provide any direct means this is where the special connections called ces will we are applying and we have also seen what is the definition of it and how they are going to act and general equation of it as in the previous video we discussed ces are the linear connection which completely depends on two things that is degrees of freedom and the other one is coefficient and it is not valid for large rotation analysis since we are undertaking linear combinations or linear connections through ces in this we are going to discuss about ce rigid and rp3 as we saw examples also here in this video we will go in detail of how it is act- acting and applications of it according to different functionality and physics of the problem we have either go for ce rigid or rbe3 so the application is same the underlying concept of both are different even for visually in ansys you cannot differentiate between ce rigid and rbe3 so we have to do list the commands or we have to know how it is happening the difference in the variation through results in ce rigid and rp3 what is ce rigid first we'll talk about rigid region ce rigid is nothing but where the rigid regions are there there it is more applicable that is often used to lump together portion of model into rigid region that means uh, completely the slave nodes completely it will act as equal distribution of displacements as we saw the outcomes of ces are nothing but <coughs> displacement based on the coefficients and degrees of freedom the command ce based rigid region is nothing but ce rigid it defines the rigid region automatically generating ces relate to the nodes in that region you can see it is connecting through links in that region for all the nodes ce rigid eliminates artificially ce rigid elements artificially add some stiffness by constraining the system to follow one to one linear displacements that means whatever displacement the master node has it will equally distributed to all the slave nodes giving a connected connected node uh, theory giving a connected node concept that means understand it here again we are seeing this master node is connected to several slave nodes there is no limit for the slave node it all connected to only single master node so here the master node will act independently where slave nodes act dependently here we can see the red color which are slave nodes 1 2 3 4 nodes have equal displacements according to the master node load application so multiple rigid lines related to uh, uh, relative to a common line used to define the rigid area that means for each node multiple rigid lines it is creating 
where it should act as one unit all the dependent that is slave node should undergo same deformation so always the constraint equations are based on small deflection theory the limitations of ce rigid command is boundary conditions are applied to master node only we can't apply the boundary conditions here whatever we are applying the load or boundary conditions it will get transferred to the slave nodes okay these are the best example we can see see here the wagon wheel which is very difficult to make it as a 3d model and time consuming so what we will make here is this as a center node master node and connected all these locations with the ce rigid these will become our slave nodes which will happen in very very less time compared to modeling and meshing the effect of the thing is same whatever mass we are considering uh, for the spokes and the center we can apply the same mass to the center master node of the mass element so here we can just create a ring and then the mass element connected with ce rigid the same will follow for the cycle rim too so it will be very tough when we are focusing our analysis on stresses of cycle rim but still we need to capture this which will affect the stiffness that is where ce rigid helps a lot so replicate the same thing in a form of mass element and connected with slave nodes through ces and in a bigger models these are the practical examples where the center node is independent and all other nodes are dependent that means whatever force we are applying on the center node it will get equally distributed to all spokes of the rim that is what the real physics that is what we are applying in a simple form through ce rigid in the simulation so coming to the next example this is a bolted joint where you can see eight bolts are there in complete 360 degrees if we am going to do 360 degrees eight bolts into six contacts will have which will create high number of contacts which leads to unconvergence and much time for solving but here my area of interest to know is how the flanges are acting at the fillets or how the transfer is happening so for that to easily understand i have made a simple form so to replicate this bolt we are making as a beam element and connected to the flange through ce rigid which is nothing but the same scenario of bolted constraint so this is the same here we are considering exactly the stiffness of the bolt by simplifying the model which will take very less time for simulation so now you might have got a complete idea where to apply ce rigid special connections according to the functionality without changing the stiffness we have to apply ce rigid coming to the next connection that is rbe3 rbe3 is nothing but the name indicates we are going to distribute the force or moment with the help of master node that means you can see here here the center node is dependent and the slave nodes are independent rbe3 is always connected by weighted functions that means unlike ce rigid whatever load we are applying it will get transferred according to the distance of the node according to the distance of the node if for suppose if i apply load in positive y direction then according to the distance of the node it will take based on the weighted average so here we can say that moment is distributed as force to the slave nodes these forces are proportional to the distance from the center of gravity of the slave nodes times the weighted that means according to the distance proportionality of this distance the weighted average will be there that means 
so that means whenever we are applying a force to the center of the master node according to the distance and the direction it will automatically calculate the weighted factor and transfer the force in that direction constraint equations here are converted to distributed force on the slave nodes during solution so that's why we'll always apply load on the center node which will act to the slave nodes according to the direction and distance of the node the best application here you can see is the force we are applying to the master node it will automatically calculate how much weight average we have to take to connect all this surface actually there is another method also which is tedious what we can do since this is at some distance we have to check the moment okay we have to convert uh, this force to at this location as a force that means uh, this force divided by uh, distance we have to take first thing and other thing is for each node according to the direction we have to calculate the forces and apply rather this is the best and easiest way to apply so directly we can apply the total force here which will get transferred into slave nodes based on weighted average weighted average plays a vital role which depends on the distance and degrees of freedom of the element okay the general form here is this is what which was already discussed in the previous video too so here the coefficient depends on the distance whereas in ce rigid coefficient is 1 okay here it depends on the distance and direction of force application so unlike ce rigid here this is dependent node and these uh, wherever the force are applied are independent nodes here the dependent nodes cannot be constrained that means we can't apply bcs for this dependent node because always you will use for a load transfer purpose okay let us go little deep into it rb3 elements do not add any artificial stiffness so it is just for transferring the load it is not going to capture the stiffness like how we did in ce rigid so that whatever mass we are taking that we are applying to ce rigid mass element here it won't happen we it is just used to apply the transfer of the loads okay this is one of the most important they are also not allowed to be a part of rb3 element equations another limitation while choosing rb3 is capable of producing unwanted mechanism if we don't know in which direction we have to apply or in which direction we are going to apply the force it may tend to because it is independent nodes this program is written in the equation of independent nodes that's why it may create unwanted mechanism that we have to understand the purpose and physics of the model to replicate here okay this happens due to insufficient independence degrees of freedom to properly resolve the moments and forces what we are applying to this node okay so that means somewhere where we are going to constrain that you can see in one of our videos that is types of supports for which model how we need to constrain that constraint directly applies affects this insufficient uh degrees of freedom that means insufficient constraint model okay so in the complete assembly if you are not constraining model properly that will definitely affects our ce locations as these slave nodes are independent and it is used to transfer the force and moment this is very much required to remember and act accordingly so we are always saying that some node is should be there at this location right that node is nothing but the mass node we are we are going to create the ce's or ce rigid with the help of a mass element to the required slave nodes always it is the connection will be with a mass element which acts as a master node in both ce rigid and rbe3 then coming back 
to see exactly the difference this is what it is you can observe here if you are connecting these five nodes as a rigid element so you can see the displacements acts equally whereas based on the weighted average the force you can see it depends on the application direction of the force it is applying to conclude in rbe3 the center node is dependent and slave nodes are independent whereas in ce rigid center node is independent all the slave nodes are dependent dependent on each other that's why it is giving the same degrees of freedom which will be apt suited for our wagon wheel or cycle ring so all the spokes should uh, should get the same deflection equally all over so wherever we are applying the forces by default we have to go for rb3 wherever we are applying connections we have to check whether it belongs to ce rigid or not and apply okay to summarize this we have made in the form of a table let us see here the concept you can see ce rigid forms directional rigid zone whereas rb3 form distributes the load to the slave nodes proportional based on the distance through master node load distribution cannot be defined in ce rigid whereas in rb3 we can define slave nodes are dependent whereas in rb3 it is independent that means each slave node will act differently as per the load application direction master nodes you can apply loads or constraint both whereas in rb3 you can apply only loads but cannot be constrained okay additional stiffness is introduced in ce rigid to act as one unit here it is not introduced because it is independent of features then you here this will give a nice explanation term of constraint equation whatever we have seen the general formula in that formula for every master node to slave node the coefficient is considered as one equation whereas in rb3 Uh, coefficient it depends on the distance okay but both will give different different equations then optimal weight factor is not there this is one of the option which was there in uh, ansys you can make the weight weight factor as per your requirement also ansys gives that feasibility describing the rigid region in the model okay that means examples we have already discussed so many times also in generic i am mentioning as describing a rigid region in the model that is nothing but if we want to uh, capture anything locally rigid uh, for the simplicity of the complete assembly or according to the physics of the model that is where we have to go for ce rigid whereas wherever we are distributing the loads loads means forces moments torque or any load other loads we can have to use rb3 hope this has given a good insights of difference between ce rigid and rb3 where to apply how to apply to conclude let us uh, have some key notes of what we discussed till now ce rigid and rb3 provide useful tools in automatically generating complex constraint equations for variety of purpose we have seen the purpose how to simplify also as mentioned in this video ce's are connected to a master node with a mass element for both the things either it is ce rigid or crb3 the properties of the mass element we need to provide in the model as per the requirement always remember ce's are not useful for large rotations since it is linear they are only valid for smaller rotation problems only ce's in which way it helps it helps to reduce the simulation time and also it forms a linear equation this is end of ce's where we have made in two videos one is ce description in some uh, ce interface in part 2 video we have made ce rigid and rb3 these are the special connections according to the physics we have to apply hope you have understood all the concepts clearly and 
how the application will happen in a real scenario. Keep learning and keep watching our videos for more technical content in the field of mechanical and civil engineering. Thank you. Have a great day.